grandmother of the missing two-year-old, almost three-year-old, turns three on Saturday, Kaylee Anthony. Listen. So I'm not out there protecting her. I'm out there protecting my grandchild because I do fear for her. What would you have? What did you want to tell Casey this morning? I know you had to cancel that for your own reasons. What What message did you want to give her? Well, I mean, the normal message that I love her and I support her and that I understand. And every day that goes by, I know exactly how hard it is that she's giving up her life to protect her child. Um, so beyond that, though, I can't go. If I could do that, then I would have kept my interview and let you all view it. So I mean, you know, that's I can't answer those questions. Anybody else have something that they want to ask me? Because I have an appointment. I'm sorry? Why couldn't you go this morning? I already stated I could go. I feel that it is safer for my granddaughter that I don't. Okay? Because that is a taped interview. Um, you guys can access that, and there's certain things that I cannot discuss with my daughter knowing that these things are going to be out. And it's very hard not to see my my daughter. Um, it was a decision, her or Kaylee. And if I have to choose between Casey and Kaylee, I'm gonna choose Kaylee right now because Kaylee doesn't have anybody fighting for her. Kaylee is not somewhere where I know that she's 100% safe. I know Casey's 100% safe right now. Did she know in advance that you were not going to be uh, coming to the Yes, station? she did. I made it very clear. She got word that I was not coming. So she, she understands and um, she supports it. Anything else? Thank you so um, much. Can, can you correct maybe something that's wrong um, that's out there? I could. It would take me a day. I know. It would, it would take me a day. There's a list um, a mile long. So unless there's something specific. Specific. Did Casey ever steal from yourself or your or your husband? Again, you know what? That's irrelevant of Kaylee right now. I mean, so that that's that, that's irrelevant okay. of the situation. And, and what I meant by the other question was, was she too trusting of maybe somebody that she just met? I'm too trusting of people I just met. I've gotten burned by all of you guys. So again, yeah, I can look you all in the eyes and you can say how you feel sorry for me, but then you can go back to your stations and allow them to make me look out to be some um, horrible person that has something to do with Casey's dis or Kaylee's disappearance. So think about that. Cindy? Well, the truth of the the truth of the matter is, just a, a lot of the pieces just they frankly don't fit together. One of the stories, listen. One of the stories that this grandmom has been telling is, and she's been saying this for the last I don't know ten minutes as this taping has been going on, is that she knows a lot of things that she can't tell the general public. Uh, there are all kinds of things about this that she knows that she can't talk to Casey about. That's her daughter, the mother of the child who's in jail. She can't talk to her about it because it'll be recorded and then everybody will have access to it. In Florida, you have access to everything that happens in a jail cell. And unlike so many other states where they make you wait forever, in Florida, they, they just give it to you. And quite frankly, that's how the police want it. But